Hey guys, and welcome back to another edition of The Cocktail Guy at Home with yours truly, Rich. I do hope you've been enjoying the cocktails we've been making. They are intended to be super simple, but still very delicious using everyday household produce, dry goods and equipment that most of you will find lying around in your kitchen. Now, if you're watching these videos on my Instagram or my IGTV, please do pop along to my YouTube channel. The handle is exactly the same. It's the underscore cocktail guy. Do feel free to like, leave me some comments if you have any questions, but don't forget to subscribe and switch on those notifications. So today we're going to be making a cocktail called a Marmalade Grove. It's designed to be a Sunday brunch livener, a, a kind of a pick-me-upper. You can drink it though at any time of the day or any day of the week. You're going to need a, a few sort of staple household items and also some basic kitchen equipment. We're going to be making our own homemade marmalade liqueur. Uh, so you're going to need some, some marmalade. We've got some Seville orange here. You can use some thinly cut preserve or even some berry jam. Mm. Works absolutely fine. Uh, we're going to be using some fresh orange, uh, if you don't have it, some easy peeling citrus fruits, tangerines, clementines, setsumas, they work just as well. If you don't have those, carton orange juice is absolutely fine. We're going to use a base spirit. I'm using vodka. You can use gin if you don't have either of those two. You can use brandy or cognac. Some sugar syrup if you want it to add a little bit more sweetness to your cocktail. And then lastly, some Prosecco or Carver or Champagne if you're fortunate enough to have some lying around. Works just as well. In terms of equipment, you're gonna need some scales to weigh, citrus juicer to juice your fruit if you're not using carton, and then lastly, a takeaway container. I'm sure most of you have loads of them lying around in your kitchen. And we're gonna use that just to infuse our liqueur. So let's get cracking. So I've already started making my marmalade liqueur here. I've taken 100 grams of my Seville orange marmalade. I've added it to my takeaway container. I've poured in 250 grams of my vodka, but as I said, you can use gin or cognac. We're then gonna seal our container. Now, if you haven't got a lid, no problem, just wrap it with cling film, it's absolutely fine. And then we're just gonna give it a gentle roll just to encourage the infusion. And then we're gonna put it aside for an hour. Now, after an hour, give it a taste. If you're happy with the infusion, you're happy with the flavor, perfect. Filter it through a coffee filter. If not, leave it a bit longer and then filter it. But what you'll end up with is this beautiful, rich, sweet, and very flavorful marmalade liqueur, which you're gonna be using in the cocktail. So let's start with juicing the orange. Now, I'm gonna juice half an orange here. We're gonna be looking for about 60 mils, about two ounces of orange juice going into this drink. There we go. Now I'm gonna bring a shaker along here. I'm gonna mix all of my ingredients into a shaker and then pour it into the glass, but you don't have to if you don't want to. You can pour this cocktail straight into the glass. I've chilled down my products, but if you don't, again, just add a couple of cubes of ice to the glass, it's absolutely fine. So as I said, two ounces. There we go. To the shaker, I'm gonna add one ounce of my marmalade liqueur. About 30 mils. And then I'm going to add to this lastly my Prosecco. I'm going to be adding again two ounces, about 60 mils. There we go. Give this a bit of a stir just to mix all the ingredients. straight into my glass. And there we have it. So, a simple, very delicious Sunday brunch cocktail called the Marmalade Grove. It can though be enjoyed, as I said, any other time of the day or any other day of the week. It's absolutely perfect. Homemade marmalade liqueur, fresh orange, couldn't be better. Top up with Prosecco. Oh, that's lush. Oh, okay. So guys, I hope you enjoy making this. Please feel free, as I said, to leave some comments if you have any questions. If you are, as I said, watching this on Instagram or IGTV, do pop along to my YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe. And until next time, from me, cheers.